real quick before the video starts, I do want to let you guys know that I accidentally called Robert's Lodge, Robert's Lake. I guess I kind of got Crystal Lake and Robert's Lodge mixed up. But uh, yeah, don't help me in the comments. I meant to say Robert's Lodge. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today, we're going to be returning to hunting season. Yes, another video. Last time I said I was going to make a video on my suggestions and tips. Uh, well, this is that. Uh, well, it's going to kind of be that. Um, not many tips and suggestions as this game still is in beta and there's not much you can actually learn that will make you simply better at the game. But I'm going to give you a few things and uh, maybe we can uh, get somewhere with that. First so. things first, um, we're actually going to start with this menu here. Um, let's spawn at Robert's Lodge real quick. And... We're going to talk about fast traveling, which is not a thing in this game. Well, it kind of is if you count what I just did as fast traveling. But uh, what I do is I like to spawn at Robert's Lake here because this is theoretically, this is where I find the most uh, animals. As you can see here, anytime I spawn in here, I always see animals around me, no matter the direction. There could be some this way. Uh, there could be a whole herd this way as there is now. Um, so... I guess tip one, spawn at Robert's Lake because it's the most populated area and you got the most view. Honestly, anywhere you look, you can see far away and there's not many trees around you. So you have a lot to see uh, here at Robert's Lake. Um, and uh, let's actually go ahead and take a shot on one of these guys and see if we can drop them. Um, who's got the bigger set of racks? I think you do. So let's try and knock you down. That might not have dropped you. I don't think it did. No, it did not. That did, though, didn't it? Maybe not. If not, then we moved to tip number two. I have no idea. Did that drop you? I don't think it did. Well, all right. So, uh, which kind of brings me into tip number two. You can see the direction they're running. And what I like to do, instead of following them, we know where they're headed. If you want to go ahead and press M and go to exit menu, and go ahead and spawn at Aspen River because we know that they're running towards this way. So I like to use this as kind of a fast travel uh, to kind of just make up for all the walking. Uh, so theoretically, they would be running in this direction. So all we'd have to do is kind of run over there and eventually you'd pick up the, uh, the blood trail. Uh, so yeah, uh, tip number, that was kind of a tip number two. I don't really know. Tip number three Um Play in a private server. If you're a low level, play in a private server. If you just want to get on to kill animals, most certainly play in a private server. Uh, I actually, this is a public server and I rarely play these. I don't know why I joined a public server, but um, yeah, play a private server. You have all the animals around you and no one can disturb you. And, you know, if somebody lets off a shot, that's going to spook an animal and you don't want that happening around you. So, uh, yeah, just... Use a private server, and they're free, so that's good. Uh, tip number three, I'm trying to think of it off the top of my head here. Uh, always stay on a track. Uh, whenever you shoot an animal, it will go down. Uh, don't ever think it's not going to go down because it will go down. Unlike the hunter call of the wild, where if you shoot an animal horribly, you know, if you, you don't hit anything vital, it, it will run for, you know, hours. Uh, not in this game. Uh, if you follow it, you will find it. Um, no matter where you hit it, at least that's how it's been for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's been times where I've shot an animal and this is kind of following up with our last tip. I, I shot an animal at, uh, like, I think it was Robert's Lake and I actually went and spawn. Actually, we can use this map here to kind of show you, uh, here's, uh, where's Robert's Lake at? Eh, it's like right here. I think I shot an animal here. And it ran all the way over here. I could see the direction it was running. So I spawned at Crystal Lake and I found it like right here at the edge of the map. And that just saved me a whole bunch of time. So um, let's see if we can actually catch ourselves another deer. Um, like I said, I love to use Robert's Lake as kind of a vantage point, really. You can see everything around you. And there's almost always a guarantee that there's going to be an animal off in the distance somewhere. Not always, though. Um, now, I know you guys are probably expecting a tip about rubies and diamonds. Uh, those are simply luck. Like I said, that kind of follows with being in a private server. You know, 
Uh, you actually can jump server to server, and, you know, it's different. Um, the spawns are going to be a little different, so you might get uh, a diamond or a ruby to spawn in. Uh, I don't know what the rate is on that. Um, I know some of you guys are probably interested in that, but I don't know that. Uh, let's actually see if they fix this binocular bug. They have not. Wow, it's been like weeks and they haven't fixed that. That's crazy. Um, I'm trying to think of another tip off the top of my head. This isn't going to be like a professional video where I'm making cuts in it or anything. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give my two cents or whatever. Um, or my few cents. Is it two cents or few cents? I say two cents. Okay. Uh, here's another tip. Um, Crystal Lake is also good for vantage points because um, you can look across the lake and you will almost always see deer kind of strolling along the uh, lake there. Um, you might not see any now, though. No, they usually be right here, right here, and sometimes right by that rock there. But, uh, yeah, here's another tip for you. Stand on top of rocks because they help with seeing things, obviously, if that wasn't made clear. Uh, here's another tip. Don't buy the... Uh, um, hunting tower game pass a lot of people have said it's useless and i i'm gonna i don't own it so i wouldn't know but i'm gonna actually go on a live and say it is useless you can just sit on top of a rock and it'll do just about the same uh, you know i i could be wrong but that's just me um let's actually talk about the vital lungs and not lungs but i uh, lung is a vital shot but um you want to go for vitals, obviously. Everybody knows that. Uh, that's either a lung, the brain. I guess that would be the brain, right? A anything that'll kind of bring the deer down within three to four seconds, um, which, you know, lung, brain. Actually, if you shoot in the brain, it'll go down immediately, which I wouldn't go for brain shots. I guess that's another tip. Uh, it's it's too risky. Uh, on I, I think on the bigger animals, the brain actually gets smaller. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I th For some reason, I have this weird thing where I think uh, a brain of a moose is very small it, and it might be, I actually don't know. Uh, don't go for brain shots unless it's at, like facing towards you. If the deer is facing towards you, like its head is right in your scope, go for it because you can't reach the lung, obviously. You could if you kind of aim towards the little belly region there. But um, yeah, I wouldn't go for a brain shot unless absolutely had to. Uh, lung will pretty much do it, which that's going to be right behind the uh, shoulder blade. I guess, I don't know if deers have shoulder blades. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going off what I hear. But, uh, yeah. Uh, here's another tip. Don't hunt at night unless you have the thermal scope, which from what I heard is also garbage as well. So don't hunt at night at all because it gets very dark and the flashlight doesn't do you any justice. Uh, so if it starts to get dark, I'd, I'd recommend hopping servers because it, it, there's been times where I, you know, I can't even see where I'm going because the flashlight doesn't do me any justice. So, um, I think those are all my tips. I don't know if I'm leaving anything out. Um, if you guys have any tips, let me know down below, help your other hunters out, I guess. 